A lot of the newer RVs have an auxiliary propane outlet that allows you to use a camp stove and you can use the propane system in the RV. We have that port in our RV and you know I never really thought too much about it in the four years that we've owned it. The other day I was in our camp store and I come across this Camp Chef RV hose connection. It has a connector for many of their stoves and then it has the quick disconnect that the RV has. So then I figured maybe it's time that I break down and buy a stove that I can use with the RV's propane system. And to say that I went overboard is maybe a misunderstatement, especially from my wife's perspective, because all of this stuff I bought on my own. So for a full disclosure, Camp Chef did not give me any assistance at all in buying these things. These are all my own purchases. So I can feel free to be objective in my opinion. I purchased the Pro 30 one burner stove and the reason for that is because it was the smallest one they had and with my RV I want to travel light, I don't want to carry a lot of stuff, I don't want it to be bulky. So this was actually the purchase of my choice and it ran around $99. And the one thing you want to look out for when you're buying accessories is that little blue logo that says fits select 14 inch accessories. Any device that they have that is compatible will have that same logo. The Pro 30 means that it is a 30,000 BTU, which is sufficient for my needs. I also purchased a flat top griddle, and this one is made out of heavy gauge steel. Camp Chef also makes this reversible grill griddle, which is a cast iron version. If you don't know the difference between a griddle and a grill, a griddle is a flat top. A grill is something that has ribs in it and normally holes as well, but this one doesn't have the holes. I also bought a deluxe barbecue grill box. This one has a more familiar grate that a normal grill would have, but also you can put pellets in it so you can do smoking with it. So this is kind of a barbecue grill with a smoker. And I also purchased the Artisan Outdoor Oven, and this is basically a pizza oven, but you know, you can cook pies or anything else you wanted to cook in there. And my goal is not to take everything all at once. So, for example, if we're going camping with some friends, we may want to share a pizza. I'll throw the oven in along with the stove. Or if we're going to, say, barbecue or smoke a fish or something, I'll leave the oven home. I'll take the grill box with me. Because, you know, that just adds bulk and weight. And I also bought accessory carry bags for devices as well as the stove itself. And a set of leg levelers so that you're level. And I also bought a universal piezo igniter, and since I was buying everything else, I just threw that in with it. And in addition to the attachments that you can buy from Camp Chef, this also fits my Bayou Classics Discata grill, my large Dutch oven so that I can make chili, and even a big boiling pot of water so that you can have a crab oil. And I suppose you could even cook a deep fried turkey on it. However, you'd want to take the legs off it and set it on a non-combustible surface so you wouldn't have a big pot of scalding oil three feet off the ground that could tip over. And if you go to Camp Chef's website and look up cooking systems, 14-inch cooking systems, and you'll see about 14 different systems. Now mine is a Pro 30X, and you can buy a Pro 60X, which is a two-burner, and uh, even the Guy Fieri Pro 60X bundle, which might be cheaper in the long run if you buy all the accessories. And basically these are all the same as far as I can tell, except it just has different features. So for example, the Yukon, you know, has got a little excursion plate on there and this one has stainless. And But I went with the single burners simply because in an RV environment it's smaller and it meets my needs. So why do I need to go to a bigger one? And if you go to the system accessories, you will find one burner and two burner grills, one burner and two burner barbecue boxes, one burner and two burner ovens, and so on. One advantage you would have if you bought a two burner stove is that you could have a flat top on the left and a barbecue box on the right. This is great for searing a steak. You could set the flat top up to 600 degrees, throw that steak on for just a few seconds on both sides, sear it, and then set the right side for say 350 degrees and throw it on the other side just to cook it slower to your perfection. In fact, they make this model called a tailgater that is a two burner stove with a one burner type appliances. I got a cut somewhere because in an RV environment, I didn't want to lug around any more than I had to. So I stayed with a one burner system. Gosh, I sound like a salesman for a camp chef. 
But I'm not financially or any way connected to Cam Chef. I just like their products. They just have a lot of cool things for the RVer and homeowner as well. And they also have backpacking grills and other kinds of ovens. Jeez, they just got so much stuff. There's another manufacturer called Blackstone that makes a lot of these grills as well. However, I did not see Blackstone having as many accessories as you can get with Camp Chef. I found a griddle backpack and a set of legs that you don't have to use the picnic table and also a couple different types of covers, but it's basically a griddle. It's not a system approach as the Camp Chef is. You can also get the grill in a 22 inch version, but for the 17 inch grill anyway, you can buy it for less than $100 at Walmart, so it's very popular. And I paid probably $600 for my grill with all its attachments. So I'm certainly not going to badmouth the Blackstone grills. I mean, they have a niche where they fit perfectly, and they're very popular with RVers because you can connect them to the RV propane system. And if you want a griddle, you probably are going to be better off with a Blackstone. But if you want to cook, bake, boil, smoke, barbecue, and all the rest, you're going to want to get the Camp Chef system. There are at least two other grills that you can use, including the Camco Olympian 5500 and the Flame King HT500 that are designed for RV use. I don't really like those because they both have a rail that you have to screw into the sidewall of your RV to mount them. And from my perspective, that's just too close to the side of the RV. You at least are going to get the sidewall all greasy. And I would rather have the grills a little bit away from the side of the RV. And in both cases, you can get leg kits for those. So you can put them on the picnic table, but they're designed to go on the RV and I just don't care for it. Again, if you have just a basic grilling need, go out and buy a Blackstone 17 inch. If you want to do all the different kinds of things, then go look at the Camp Chefs. So I need to make a disclaimer that I'm not a professional gas fitter. So anything you see here, take it as an amateur opinion. If you have a Camp Chef grill, you're going to need a RV propane hose that goes from a 250 quick connect to a 3 8 inch female flare. If you have the Blackstone 17 or 22 inch grill, you can either buy that same hose with an adapter that has a 3 8 inch male flare on one end and a Blackstone grill fitting on the other end. Other options are a 250 quick connect on the other end so that you can just use an extension hose or you can buy a hose that has a 250 quick connect on one end and the Blackstone grill fitting on the other end. And I'll put links to where you can buy these on both my project webpage and in the description below. This is actually on pretty tight and it takes a 19 millimeter wrench and I'm going to take a adjustable wrench and there's a couple flat spots on this manifold and it's a lefty loosey righty tighty. There we go. Yeah, it's on there pretty tight. And you'll want to save this because we can put an adapter on this hose so that you can always use the portable tank if you want to. And this hose is an 8 foot long hose and this is the Genuine Camp Chef hose. But you can buy third party hoses that are a little longer. Now it's just a matter of connecting the new hose. And we want to tighten it pretty snug so again we're going to hold the manifold with a wrench. And I do have a gas leak detector that I'll try out on this just to make sure that it's okay. And we're now going to perform an extra step. We're going to convert our unused hose with regulator so that we can use that without having to remove the hose we just installed. And this will allow us to use a portable tank in the future if we ever desire to do so. This is called a 250 female quick disconnect or sometimes an RV quick disconnect to a one quarter inch female NPT. NPT standing for National Pipe Thread. I also obtained an adapter from a one quarter inch male NPT to a three eighths inch male flare. Make sure these are all propane rated as well. I also used yellow propane tape on the threads of the one quarter inch NPT. Make sure you do not use the white stuff because that is for water only, not propane. And after attaching the quick disconnect to my propane hose, I bought this five pound pony tank. Now I have a small tank I can take with me if I need to, yet it's not so large that it's cumbersome to deal with. 
and the leg extensions were fairly easy. Basically, you just take a screwdriver and pop the original ones off, put these in, and then you actually do have to hit it with a mallet. And the way these work is you can just adjust them like this. I've installed the piezo lighter into my stove, and it's kind of funny because it's upside down. So to light it, you just do that. And on the inside, there's a ceramic insulator that goes up to the little wire. And you're supposed to locate this wire three of an inch above the burner. And the wire comes way too long, and you're supposed to cut it to size. And if you can see, the spark. So it should work. I wish the people that designed and built these RVs were actually RVers. Maybe they would use their own products. Because this thing is about the worst possible place you can put it. you got to crawl under the trailer to get to it. And it's right behind your wheel on the passenger side. So any road debris that gets kicked up by the wheel goes right on here. And why they couldn't spend another 20 cents to extend this out to the skirt, which would make it easier to connect to, plus it would make it less susceptible to road debris, would be something. The way these things work is there's an on-off valve here, and when it's in this position, then no gas can get out. And when it is open, you can't push this back, so this is kind of a fail-safe mechanism. Put the quick connect in. There we go. Then we can turn the valve back on, and then we should be good. I was also able to find a short extension hose because it was a little bit short for my liking. And again, that's another link I'll put on my website. So, we got the gas turned on, and let's see if this thing will work. There we go. There is also an airflow adjustment so we can adjust for the best blue flame. And I imagine that would be helpful in a high altitude area. Well, that pretty much wraps up the first video on my Camp Chef 14 inch grill system. We'll do another video showing how each individual component works, but this is getting kind of long, so we're going to split it into two videos.